welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing a video that's been requested quite a few times, so many times, and it's all about lavender perfumes. If you're new here, then welcome. We're all about perfumes here. So check out my hundreds and hundreds of other perfume videos, uh, videos about whole ranges, about different perfume notes like this, anything you can think of, I probably already have a video on it. So do check them all out. And if you're a regular watcher, but you haven't subscribed yet, then do hit that subscribe button, show your support and join our little perfume community in the comments down below. And as always, I will try and leave links to where you can get these, um, everything I mentioned in the UK, US, Australia and Canada. So let's get started. So lavender, of course, is a beautiful aromatic scent. Ever since I went to Provence in the south of France about 10 years ago, whenever I smell lavender, I immediately am taken back there because everything just smells of lavender and that aromatic scent um, just everywhere. It's like the smell of walking into a spa. And that's very much what, for me, lavender evokes a very relaxing um, spa-like feel. Lavender, of course, is used um, as like a sleeping aid, aromatherapy. So I find it a very soft, feminine, calming scent. So it's the kind of thing in a perfume where, you know, you have to be in the right kind of mood to have that, right? Sometimes you want a perfume that's gonna wake you up, not one that's gonna put you to sleep. Lavender's also used a fair bit in male fragrances as well, but these are all gonna be female or unisex, I guess. So my top recommendation for anyone that likes lavender in terms of getting a mainstream everyday perfume would be from YSL and their Libre Eau de Parfum, not the new intense version that came out this year, the original Eau de Parfum that came out last year. So this is definitely a modern lavender. It has some other floral notes in here, like orange blossom, like jasmine, which work very well to create that floral aromatic feel. And it also has some vanilla in, which makes it a little bit interesting and a little bit, um, I guess, more like a perfume. If, if it was just all those floral notes, it would seem more, I don't know, it wouldn't be much like a perfume, it'd be more like a room spray or something. So, but lavender is, to me, definitely the main note here. It's not super overpowering. I'd say this is like a medium strength perfume. It's okay for lasting, it's okay for projection, but it's not super, super heavy. But I think this would be nice for someone during the day, sort of everyday perfume. You'd have that lavender sort of hug around you, but you'd also have those other interesting notes going on, which um, make this a you know modern scent. Also all the body products that go with it as well, of course, have a very lavender vibe to them. So overall, a sort of nice, good quality eau de parfum where lavender's the main note. And then on a similar vein, I'd also recommend Mon Guerlain from Guerlain. Again, here, lavender is the main note, maybe almost a little bit more so than in Libre. Again, it also has vanilla with it, but it also has a powdery violet and it has a, a deep, tonka bean so i find at first it's very lavendery and then over time the tonka bean comes through and it becomes quite warm um but these two fragrances are not massively different because you know they both have that dominant lavender smell i'd say perhaps the mongo lamb one is a little bit heavier and a little bit more musty powdery lavender um the libre one is a bit fresher lavender but both you know very well selling you know popular quite new perfumes that have very similar notes those two perfumes are on the little bit more expensive side especially because they're quite new so a mainstream perfume which is a bit more affordable where lavender is the main note is from burberry and it's their burberry bit brit rhythm so this came out quite a while ago so you can get it usually at really good prices usually really discounted i'll leave the links down below to where i find out a good price for you guys but i find this one to be very lavendery and there's not a huge amount else 
going on as well. It's quite warm, it's quite musky, there's a hint of pink pepper as well, but it's a musky lavender, um, a, a cosy lavender, and because you can get it so cheap, you can go mad with the sprays here, use loads of it, um, so it's quite good value for money. So of course, speaking about Provence, um, no lavender perfume would be complete without mentioning L'Occitane and their lavender range of perfumes and body products. Of course, you can get loads of things like soaps and shower gels and everything, but they do have um, a perfume spray that you can get that's all lavender. Um, I think it's called Lavande and it's basically pretty much all lavender, a little bit of fresh sort of bergamot in there. Again, it has a little bit of a muskiness in, but basically it smells like lavender. And again, you know, much more affordable than the YSL or the Guerlain. And you can get all the complimentary products products as well to really layer the fragrance so if you are a die-hard lavender fan you, you should definitely be all over L'Occitane. So last year I think, no this year for Mother's Day um, here in the UK, um, Jo Malone released three lavender fragrances in quite small, like I think it's 50ml size and they don't come in the large size and um, all three have lavender in as kind of the main note, but they're like different interpretations of lavender. These are available worldwide. I, it was just a big Mother's Day promotion here. So you have Wisteria and Lavender, which I found to be, I really got loads of lavender. And then it had a pretty Wisteria scent in there, but it was primarily lavender. You have Silver Birch and Lavender, which was a little bit more woody, um, but again, you know, mainly lavender. And then you have Lavender and Coriander, and in this one you really could get the Coriander, um, very aromatic um, and heavier than the other two. I personally don't like Coriander in fragrances, so I wasn't that much of a fan of this. I think the Wisteria one I like the best. Um, but these three are cute with the sort of purple lids, all the branding was super purple and cute, and I think they're limited edition, so they won't be around forever. For a very affordable lavender there has been a release from Zara this year which is bergamot and lavender. This is actually I think aimed at men and male fragrance but because the notes are basically just lavender and bergamot I think it's quite unisex um, but yeah it's not super floral feminine it's literally just bergamot and lavender and um, but very affordable as Zara perfumes always are and then you might not have heard of the Cowshed brand they are a British uh, brand and they have some spas I've been to one in Cornwall and their stuff smells amazing it's very lavendery and they have um, products that have quite cool names all to do with like cows so they have a fragrance called Knackered Cow and this one is all lavender and it's really soothing and really like being in a spa and very relaxing. They have all different body products in this kind of smell as well. Um, but I think this would be lovely to sort of spray in the house um, when you're in the house and you just get really cozy or spray before bedtime. Um, I really like this range of products um, Cow Shed and I'm surprised they're not available in more places because I think they're really nice. Another sort of aromatherapy body spray is from Rituals, the Ritual of Jing. Again, this is very lavender, quite a heavy lavender I found. This really lingered on me as well when I tried it. Um, and it comes in quite a sort of convenient tall bottle. So you could sort of top this up as a sort of lavender body spray throughout the day if you want that cozy lavender vibe. And I also noticed that there's a new one come out from Penhaligons called Brilliantly British. I haven't been able to smell it yet. I went to Harry um, the other day to try and smell it and it wasn't there yet so I'm looking forward to smelling it because I believe it's all lavender so that will be interesting and then I did want to mention I have some sort of pillow I have a pillow spray from this works deep sleep pillow spray which is very lavendery and I also have from the white company um, from their spa range the relax pulse point which is lavender Clary Sage and Peppermint, both really good for helping you go to sleep. So I wanted to throw them in there as well. So that's it guys. So let me know what your favorite lavender perfume is. Is there any others you'd add to this list? I'm sure there's plenty of others you'd want to add. So let me know down below in the comments what you think. Um, but that's it everyone. So thanks so much for watching as always and I'll see you in the next video.